Greetings from Florida. Here we're working on a Porsche Cayenne 2011 to 2018 is the right front. I was on this before, so I've already taken a lot of the screws out, but I'm going to show you what you need to take out right there, just that single clip. And then there's one over here. Actually, I'm going to be taking off the armrest first, I think. These are not that easy to change. And then that plastic piece right there. You got one screw there, 30, uh, 30 Torx, Torx 30. And I put some of the screws back in and some of them I didn't. I was already here and I locked the window up until I could get the regulator in. So now I'm going to take all those screws out again. You're replacing the entire inside panel with the cables and the cross bridge. The motor is fine, but the regulator is everything else inside that panel. Magnet might come in handy here. You've got one right behind there. There was a plate that I took off, and I'm, I'm about to try to take off this. I think it does come off. I didn't end up taking it off. Um, you can just as easily unhook the wiring harnesses after you get the door panel off. I thought it might break, so I didn't want to play with it. There was also some screws on the bottom. Oh, and then that right there comes off as well. Almost forgot. And it slides to your right. Pop it out and slide it that way. See, there's hooks on it. And you've got another screw behind there. Now, when you get this off, you're replacing, you're unhooking the cable that goes to the handle. And when I did that the first time, I pulled it out of the latch. So we're going to be taking the latch out so I can get the cable back. There's a lot of things to unhook, so note where everything is. To get that off, you push in the blue part and then just slide the orange part over it. And then move the panel out of the way, keep it safe. Before you get started, you might want to pull the regulator out and make sure you get the right one. Eyeball it. Make sure you don't have the wrong side. Make sure you don't have the wrong part. You don't want to take this whole thing apart and finally get the wrong one. I'm going to take off the speaker, which I believe were Torx 20s. And, oh, all the little screws all around that hold the regulator to the door. Those were 30s. Pretty sure those were 30s. Keep track of which screws go where. Those are the small ones. If you have any questions, please ask right here on YouTube. I'd be glad to answer them. If this was helpful for you, do me a favor. Like, L-I-K-E, like the video. That will help other people searching for it find it on YouTube helps me with YouTube as well. If you'd like me to do this for you and you're in the Tampa Bay or Sarasota area of Florida, call me. I'll do it. It's expensive, but we'll do it. And then you're going to unhook those wiring harnesses as well. Pull out the red tab a little bit and you should be able to pop it right off. And I'm also going to take off that uh, relay box. We're going to unhook everything and then push the wiring through. The video, by the way, is at double speed, so you don't have to spend an hour watching it. Okay, so there's the cable that came out of the latch. I'm going to need to get that back in. So I am going to have to take the latch out. To do that, 
ideally you need a triple tap set which fits Audi, VW, and Porsche. Um, it looks like a Torx a bit, but it's got more grooves. In theory, those screws aren't in that tight. Those bolts aren't in that tight. You could take them out. This is what I'm talking about, the, uh, the latch. You could take them out with a pair of pliers, but you're probably going to scratch up the paint. Oh, uh, 10 millimeter nut there. Take off whatever that is. It's going to go back on the new one. There were a couple clips I pulled off on the bottom. Now, as you can see, I already removed the other regulator, the rails, so I could get the window up and lock it up. I just put a drill bit in to hold it in place until I can get the part. Taking out the drill bit right there, pull it out. Sliding it down. Two ways to get the clips off. You can get them, ideally you're going to get them off from the front and you need a 4.5 millimeter socket for that. It's kind of small. Um, for some reason I pulled them off from the back. And for that, uh, you can get them off from the back, but you can't get them on from the back. Once you get the regulator back in, you will need the 4.5 millimeter socket. So I ended up using my bit wrench with a Torx 30 to get them off from the other side. Took out a few cables that were at the bottom of the door. I have no idea where the video is jumping around at this point. Okay, so that actually gets attached to the door panel, but it I didn't. Because um, it would have involved taking out the latch and the outside handle to do that. And I just didn't think it was worth the trouble. I was going to try to get this cable back on without taking the latch out, but I found out that I couldn't. Fortunately, I have a triple tap set. And if you want to take the latch out, you will need these triple tap. Um, like I say, it's like a Torx, but it's got a different amount of grooves on it. It's unique to VW, Porsche, and Audi. Three of the hottest doors that I work on. Okay, so a slight jump in the video there. I had to find a, uh, a bit for the triple tap set. Now that I have said bit, I take out the two triple tap bolts to hold the latch in because I have to get it out a little bit to get that cable back on. Now maybe you don't accidentally pull the cable out when you do it. Sorry if my head is blocking my putting the cable back on. You'll see it. There's a black piece on the cable that slides into an opening on the latch. And then that pops in right there. Oh, this should give you a better view.
So that was no big deal. Getting that cable back on was not a problem. Now we're going to put the triple tap bolts back on. I think I've got it back in there. Putting in the guides from the plastic part. Now we need to get everything back in with the, with the, uh, the new regulator panel. And the first time I put this in, I made a mistake. I put the wires on the wrong side of the left rail. I put them on the outside, which would have interfered with the glass. I realized that before I put everything back together and then took it out and just slid it back. It's got to go between the rail and the regulator and the panel, the plastic panel. And I know you can't see everything I'm doing at the bottom. Don't worry about it. You'll figure it out. It's not that complicated. Um, sorry, I didn't have the camera angle down a little bit lower, but this is a working farm. And here I think is where I realized I had it on the wrong side. I did. So I took off. Oh, wait, maybe not yet. Yeah, I did. So I slid everything out again. And now I think I have it right. So we're going to pull all the wires through. And there's a rubber uh, gasket that pushes into the hole in the plastic. Porsche, Audi, and VW are unquestionably the most difficult cars to work on as far as windows go. BMW and Mercedes, eh, they're fine. You know, some are harder than others, but they're not disastrous. But these are the absolute worst. Next thing, we're going to slide the cable through that hole right there. And again, there's a rubber gasket that gets pushed into the surrounding area around that hole.
couple clips right there by where the speaker is. They just pop on pretty easy. You'll see them. You just kind of want to keep everything out of the way of the glass traveling up and down. And if I'm not mistaken, I brought those clips down manually just an inch or so, so they'd line up with those two holes. Because you're going to put the motor back on prior, uh, here I am putting in some of those, uh, a few of those uh, small bolts, just to hold the panel in place while I finish this off. I'll put them all back in in a minute. Um, so anyway, you're going to bring the clips down just enough so you have access to them from those two holes. And that's where that 4.5 millimeter socket is going to be invaluable. You're going to need it. But before you put the glass into it, you want to put the motor back onto the regulator. Otherwise, when you push the glass down, the clips will just slide down. And the, mo the motor just has some 20 Torx um, screws to hold it in place. The tools I use are Bosch, B-O-S-C-H. I do not get anything from them. It's not a paid endorsement. They are the best. Best customer service, best quality tools. They're indestructible. I highly recommend Bosch drills and Bosch drivers. Hello, Bosch, if you're listening to this and you want to send me something, feel free. Now, I'm bringing the glass down, and right there, and now these are going to go backwards. Normally, it's tighty-righty, lefty-loosey, but you're working backwards. So you're going to turn it to the right to loosen it, and to the left to tighten it. I think we'll see that in a minute. One other thing you're going to do, and you should do this every three months anyway, is put the glass down. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Put the glass down and lightly, lightly WD-40 the two channels that go up and down, the vertical channels that the glass travels in. Uh, makes it much easier. They, the, the rubber dries out from the heat. So you're not going to soak it. Just give it a quick spray up and down every three or four months. I had taken off um, the cover where you would normally take off the outside handle. I didn't take off the outside handle, so I put the cover back. Oh, it looks like I uh, magically did the 4.5 millimeter socket. I didn't even see myself do it, but that's how quick it was. So anyway, you're going to see two um, metric screws in the clips, and you're going to turn it to the left to tighten it, to the left, to tighten it. That's not normal, but that's how it is on this because it's backwards. And that'll tighten the glass, tighten the clips on the glass. Next up, I gotta find all the, all the appropriate wiring harnesses. You've got one that goes all the way to the bottom that goes into the light. You've got 
one or two for the speakers. You have the large one right there. Oh, I'm going to go turn the key on, make sure that it works before I finish it off. And I forgot that with Porsche, the ignition is on the left-hand side of the wheel, unlike every other car. So I have to, I couldn't reach it from where I was, so I had to go over on the other side. So I'm going, over, I'm going over to the other side to uh, turn on the car. Once again, if this is helpful for you, and this is helpful for you, go ahead and like the video. That would help me a lot. Thank you. In my travels, I did not see any other videos for the 11 to 18 Porsche Cayenne, Porsche Cayenne window regulator repairs. And I'm back. Ah, that's where I did WD-40 right there, just a little bit. Uh, looks like I'm putting on one of the cables to the speaker. And the cable to the handle. And take a look at it when you take it out because it goes back in, not difficult, but you need to see which side goes where. And there's about three minutes left on this video. I'm pretty confident that you can watch the bolts put back in. Uh, again, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. I'll be glad to get to them within a day or so. And go ahead and like the video. That will help me a lot. And thank you for watching. Have a great week.